And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Throwing again. Manning. Will be left side, and he's got a man. That's Shepard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Is that not the very definition of a tough yard game? Now, is that one where, as the receiver, you go to your quarterback and say, why'd you even throw that? <laughs> yeah, I think you do, and I think you wonder, what type of a route are you going to send me on that only one yard is going to be the result? If I'm going to go in there and take contact, let's go and get something out of it, not just one yard. Manning now on third and goal. Throw left side complete. It's Shepard. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They pass up the three, fake it, it doesn't work. Well, there's two sides here. I guess you could pinpoint and look at the offense and say, oh man, what a disaster. Hey, the defense though, they came through. Preparation's the key to everything. And when you're on the defensive side of the ball and in special teams meetings, you prepare for plays like this. And in this case, they were actually able to win it. Now it's Roethlisberger. He's going. And got his man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. And one of the underrated aspects of Ben Roethlisberger's game is his ability to actually throw the football. We hear so much about his movement and escaping the pocket. Ben can step back there and fling it, and Antonio Brown is usually there to catch. We've really seen their chemistry develop, haven't we? Yes, we have, and it's been really, really fun to watch. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. It's caught at the 10. And he's able to get this down deep on the giant side of the field. A gain of 39 that time. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Pass the 20. And they will finally run him down but not until he brings us one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. Manning now to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. He looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 20. Let's go, let's go. After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. He's going to rifle one, and now here is another interception. Picked off by Eli Apple, and the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? 
I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. The veteran Morgan Burnett there on the coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. To throw is Manning. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Giants! Travis Rudolph, 42 yards. And thanks to the interception, the Giants' offense cashes in with six. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's...